This is a train, 90 plus furnace, about 18 years old. It's short cycling and it's not running. I've had the heating guys out here like five times. The last guy pulled the, uh, this sucks the fresh air from outside into the unit and he pulled that off and it works fine. Um, they checked all the components, everything's clean, everything's working, everything's connected, there's nothing wrong with this furnace, um, it, but it just keeps short cycling, I uh, can't figure it out, but that last guy, like I said, he just looking to see if maybe there was something in there, he pulled it off and it's, you know, it runs fine. Uh, so I took it upon myself to chop off where the pipe turns so I could look down towards the furnace and look toward the outside just to see if I could see something in there. Uh, maybe a little obstruction or something. I don't know. I'm just curious, I guess. I can't, nobody can figure it out. I can see daylight. These pipes are clean. There's nothing in there. No spider webs, no bees nests, no dead rats, <laughs> no nothing. So, um, the one thing I did notice looking down this side, it's probably a good 20 foot run is there's a sag in this pipe about halfway, about 10 foot away from where I'm at here. There's a little sag in the pipe. So I'm going to look on the other end, see if I can, I can't imagine that would be it, the, you know, the cause of the problem. But I did find looking from the other side that that bracket there that's supposed to hold the pipe up, you can barely see it. This pipe's supposed to be up probably a good, I mean, you can almost see it sagging right there, but it should be up about another inch and a half, two inches up. That's straight right about there. Uh, and if you look at that that bracket, you know, sometimes they're in there crooked, but that right side of that bracket right there is just loose. It come loose from the floor joists. Uh, when the guy put it in there, he obviously didn't put a screw or a nail or anything in it to hold it. I wouldn't think they'd come loose, but I guess they do. Um, so I got another bracket. Uh, one of those adjustable brackets, got the pins on each side uh, to hold it in there. And then there's actually a hole um, that you can put a nail or a screw in after you get it, you know, where it needs to be. So um, I got that in there, got everything straight. Those things are adjustable too. I think it goes from 11 or 12 inches up to like 19 inches or something like that. Um, so I got the pipe in there nice and straight, and I'm going to hook the uh, part I cut off back on with a couple three-inch couplings um, just to hook it back up. I'm going to just uh, push them on there tight and uh, call that good. They're, they're not going to fall off of there or anything like that, just in case they ever got to get in there, I guess. But, yeah, that's about a good 20-foot run, and it's nice and straight now. Um so I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to hook this back up and hook it back up to the furnace. And uh, there I just pushed everything tight back together the way it was uh, with those couplings. Pretty easy, about eight bucks. And that's where it comes down in the furnace. And uh, just plop that back into the, to the furnace uh, and then fire it up. So, so just so you can see what I was looking at, I just put a couple pipes on the ground. Uh, a couple of pieces of scrap. That's about the extent of the dip in that pipe. It wasn't very much. And I didn't move it very much. About that far to make it straight. Like I said, I could still see daylight. Um, it wasn't a big crease. I, I just, it's going to blow my mind if my furnace actually works after this. But um, we tried everything else. I spent about 400 bucks on service calls. Um so yeah, I fired it up, and sure enough, it it started right up. Uh, it didn't hesitate at all. Um, it went through its you know pre cycles and whatnot, and then fired right up. So I guess if you have a problem and you can't figure it out, it might be a good idea to check your your vent pipes, see if they're clogged or maybe got a little kink in them or something. But uh, yeah, hope that helps.